Oklahoma Senator Nathan Dom is likely to override a veto of Governor Mary Fallon, who rejected a bill that would make it a felony for anyone to perform an abortion in the state of Oklahoma. This senator's fearless zeal for life is refreshingly similar to President John Quincy Adams, nicknamed the Hellhound of Slavery, for relentlessly speaking out against slavery. As depicted in the movie Amistad, Adams defended 53 Africans purchased at Muslim slave markets accused of mutiny aboard the slave ship Amistad. He won their case before the Supreme Court, giving them back their freedom, stating, The moment you come to the Declaration of Independence, that every man has a right to life and liberty, an inalienable right, this case is decided. I ask nothing more on behalf of these unfortunate men than this declaration. Adams said he felt bonded by the Constitution to work for universal emancipation. This is freedom for all. He was so galvanized by the topic in 1836, Southern members of Congress, along with Northern Democrats, got the House to pass a gag rule that forbade the discussion of slavery in the House of Representatives. Adams fought tirelessly against the gag rule, and in 1844, he finally succeeded in getting it abolished by a vote of 108 to 80. Infant murder, as horrid as slavery and the lynching of human beings, has become an unprecedented abomination in our country, taking the lives of roughly 4,000 infants a day. Dr. Ben Carson, former presidential candidate and famed neurosurgeon, correlated the two abominations, stating, During slavery, a lot of slave owners thought they had the right to do whatever they wanted to that slave, anything that they chose. And what if the abolitionists had said, I don't believe in slavery, but you guys do whatever you want? Where would we be? Contrasting these three brilliant lovers of humanity and constitutional rights to life and liberty, consider some of the statements made by avid pro-infant murder advocates in Oklahoma. State Senator Irvin Yen described the legislation as insane and voted against it. Amanda Allen, an attorney for the Center of Reproductive Rights in New York, stated, Oklahoma politicians have made it their mission year after year to restrict women's access to vital health care services. Yet this total ban on abortion is a new law. The Center for Reproductive Rights is closely watching this bill and we strongly urge Governor Fallon to reject this cruel and unconstitutional ban. Senate Democrat leader John Sparks called Senator Dom's bill an emotional distraction. Emotional distraction? That is what the right to life has degenerated into in the minds of some identifying Americans. The only reason murder is emotional is because it takes away the fundamental right of a human to have liberty and pursue happiness. When individuals' lives are brutally taken, people tend to get emotional. If one has no right to life, whether we are free or slaves, in the words of former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, what difference does it make? I am grateful there is another hound of heaven on the loose. Senator Nathan Dom, for the sake of the unborn, override this veto. Because in the words of John Quincy Adams, duty is ours, results are God's. This is Jake McCauley for the Institute on the Constitution, bringing you the American View.